Our guest artist today first popped onto the scene in 1998 in South Africa and he popped on with a great single called Why, which went to the top of the charts, remained there for five consecutive weeks and he's been doing great work ever since. But he's been quiet for a little while and it's great to have him back. I last saw him in 2011 at the Comrades Marathon, uh, chatting to him there. And it's great to have you back, man, to see you all full of action again, doing your thing. Garth Taylor, how are you doing, Yeah, man? I'm, I'm well, very well. It's Fantastic. great to be back. Great your hair is looking back. very, very different from when I last saw you. Like, what, 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 <laughs> what happened, bro? Uh, I'm going to to MMA? Oh yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I got sunk into that. You totally sold me down the line. But um, where have you been um, for the for the past couple of years? I mean, like I said, I last saw you 2011 at the Comrades Marathon. You were performing there as yeah. the runners were were, were running past. Um, yeah. Where have you been? Well, mate, just after that, I found out that my sister had uh, was diagnosed with cancer in Australia. So of course, naturally, you know, do the family thing. You know, I'm a I'm a close brother. Yeah. We grew up together in, in extreme circumstances, so I went over to Australia to look after her and you know, just see what, what she's up to and try and make good, you know. And uh, that's kind of taken up a lot of my time, as you can imagine it does. It, drain, yeah. it drains a person's life away from them and just you, you take everything, you put it down and you... Yeah. What, what has it done for you as a, as, a, as a person and let's say for you as, as the bigger family? I mean, obviously going through that, that traumatic experience. Well, I tell you, I tell you what, it's 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 taught me to appreciate the little things. You know, take take the moments and laugh and 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 just turn them around. I'm a lot less finicky about things. I'm just way more open and and just in, in terms of you know, you wake up in the morning, you're in a bit of a bad mood, a bit yeah. of a bad space. You lose that very quickly. Yeah. Because you start you start appreciating that that you can't you can't be like that because life is very very uh, tender. You know. And indeed, something yeah. we should do every single day. Absolutely. Really appreciate every you turn everything around. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. How's that translated through into your music though? Because with, with your skills as a songwriter and your skills as a singer, yeah. uh, you know, I think I think it makes for a great combination. Yeah, I'll tell you what it has done. I've, I've, always, I've always been able to just rattle songs out for some reason. Mm -hmm. Not all of them are good. I've got some really cuck ones. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, but yeah, the thing is, I've always been able to rattle songs out, but I, I think this time I got more of a zest. Yeah. The stuff that I'm writing now is like, yes, you know, yes, I, I must make it happen, I must make it happen now. They're kind of in the moment. T type of writing. Yeah. Haven't got time to go rewrite and redo. And it's all about producing the next hit. Absolutely. Next hit. Next hit. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty much like, uh, funny enough, when I wrote Why, my first single was like that. I wrote it in 20 minutes. It was like I just wrote the whole song. And, oh, dude. And it, was it, and it didn't change. I didn't go back and rewrite. It just stayed like that. Yeah. Yeah. And this is pretty much how I'm, I'm writing now. <laughs> I'm and writing a song and I'm, I'm doing a demo of it and it's sitting there. I'm writing another one and doing a demo of it. That's incredible. And it's funny because the tracks that I'm playing, people are like, going, wow, man, this is good work, wow. which is shocking. But and so now you have a new single out called, called No Way. Yeah. Um, and, and so you, you feel like you've really put a lot more into that, a lot more effort, a lot more emotion, a lot more of yourself. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. I think that my, my zest for life has, has definitely come back after, you know, um, with, with my sister's condition and everything, it, it's, it's definitely made me appreciate where I'm at at the moment. Yeah. Nothing, you know, nothing's going to stop me now. <laughs> well, man, I, I really, really do wish her a, a speedy recovery, and I hope that her treatment really goes well. But it's great to Thanks, have you back man. doing what you love most and what, you, what you're best at as well. Well, man. she did. She sent me back here. She said, you got to do your music. Amazing, amazing. Uh, Dude, it's great here. to have you here, man. Yeah, After man. the break, a live performance from Mr. Garth Taylor right here on Expresso.